Hello and welcome to the Dinosaur number 234, another seven curious interesting things I saw last week. So as ever, let's crack on. Our first one is news from Carnegie Mellon University and it's basically proactive assistance. Now it's actually the title is along the top but it's so long I'm not going to say it. However, it's a really cool idea. So there's an AI looking at this scene, it understands what's going on, it can proactively figure out what help you might need and it delivers the help, obviously with robotic placemats. For instance, it knows that you're unattentive and there's a knife right next to your hand so it moves the knife away which I think is pretty cool. It knows you've just left your house but you've left your keys behind so it rattles your keys so that when you come back in you know where to find them and this one it can clearly see you're looking for a dongle so it then uses this funny little motorized tray thing to then scooch your dongle up to your computer which I think is amazing. So there you go, um, really interesting use. Uh, now this will be great in the future when it delivers your screwdriver or whatever it is directly to you because you need it and that'll be amazing so well, well done. Uh, this is a patent that has been granted uh, to Yamaha, the motorcycle people. They make other things, obviously. However, it's for straddle riding type electric <laughs> vehicles, which are motorbikes to you and me. And this is a motor or an engine that actually doesn't do anything, but they had a patent granted for it. So it, it generates zero power. It uh, literally takes power to run it. Uh, and why? It's because they've figured out or they've done some research that people on electric uh, motorcycles especially want to feel the vibration and the sound of the motor and without that they just don't feel particularly happy so they've invented this entire motor is engine that has crankshaft it has pistons it has valves it has spark plugs it has ports it has all sorts of stuff um, but none of that is actually used it actually uses power from your electric motor to run this engine so there you go which is weird but it vibrates it makes the sounds because the valves go up and down it makes the plopping noise of the exhaust for instance so there you go um, so it's a complete waste of the world's resources but that said, uh, if you really do like your vibrating engine noises, then uh, this is uh, probably coming to a motorcycle near you soon. Uh, this is coming to an Uber app near you. So if you are an Uber driver, then you might be uh, up for some micro tasks, some digital micro tasks. This has appeared in the app. And what these are, are small tasks that you can do to supplement your meager earnings as an Uber driver. So um, what are these things? Well, Uber has teamed up with several companies who want you to do stuff for them. So for instance, they might want you just to record your voice or to upload pictures of things or to translate some documents, a menu or something like that. Um, essentially the stuff that things like capture codes used to do uh, or still do uh, on the sly, but they're just saying, well, we'll pay you a dollar for each one of these things you do. So there you go. So um, yeah, in an interesting world, where we are now training AI specifically and getting paid for it as well. So that is our use. As soon as they learn, then <laughs> we're done for. Um, this is a really interesting video. Uh, it was on Twitter or X. And um, this is actually from the China Automobile Technology and Research Cent Center. Um, but it actually says uh, what happens when a battery fire happens in a car. Now this is an option. Uh, it shoots it out sideways uh, so that it doesn't actually set fire to the car itself, which is a, an interesting idea. Now obviously the flaws in this are it's going to shoot the battery directly into somebody else's car and it's going to set that one on fire as well, um, possibly full of a family and children, which is not a great idea, obviously. Um, or it's just going to break everybody's legs of the people waiting at the bus stop. There you go. So um, interesting idea. Not sure it's going to quite work but uh, there you go uh, that's what experiments are for um, lots of the stood behind a barrier uh, this is Google's latest experiment uh, one of the AI experiments and this is Google learn your way and the clue is in the name so what you do is you upload a document, a PDF, or your learning material, a book, textbook, that sort of thing, and you then tell it who you are, what learning level you are, and what you're into, like what you like. And it then figures out how to turn the textbook into something that you will understand. So for instance, if you're into skateboarding and you're a preschooler, it will then give you a preschool skateboarding themed lesson on the subject. So this is amazing. So in the future, when uh, you need to learn about molecular physics or something like that, then everybody will get their own personalized notebooks or textbooks to learn from. Uh, there's things like mind maps, there's slideshows, there's you know text that you can actually just read as well. But I think this is a really cool idea. Now, obviously you're uploading all of the textbooks and stuff, which might be copyright at this point. However, um, I think that's a really good thing that you can uh, make uh, education personalized for each person. That's nice. Uh, we might be seeing the start of transformers. Uh, these are multimodal robots and the modes are transport modes. So flying, walking and driving. 
So how do you combine those? Well, that's what Caltech and uh, TII have done, the Technology Innovation Institute in uh, UAE, and they're showing you how they transition. So <laughs> it bends over in a comedic kind of way. Obviously, I'm not going to say it. Um, however, uh, the drone then flies away. It can then land. It can then turn into a driving thing. It can then do the driving thing and then can turn into a drone again and fly away and then meet up with its humanoid robot again. And they can all walk off kind of creepily in a sort of Transformers kind of way. So there you go. Um, now, the point of this is you know, emergency response where you're now not limited to one mode of transport you can literally have multimodal robots and that's what it means. So there you go. Uh, this is the future. So watch out for that. And finally, uh, if you just want to play a game, I just thought a bit of a lighthearted. And finally, uh, this is neil.fun. You should check in there now and again because it's always fun. And this is prove you're not a robot. So I'm not a robot. Uh, and it will just give you all of those capture codes and they just get weirder and weirder and funnier and more elaborate. So this is me playing all the level or a lot of the levels just to show you what you might find. So whack-a-mole, for instance. Um, uh, where's Wally? I thought it was a hilarious one. So um, if you want a bit of a fun, the link is down below. Go and click on that. Um, hopefully that was useful. Hopefully it was interesting. If it was, uh, do appreciate a like. Maybe subscribe if you haven't. I know most of you haven't subscribed. Uh, that's very naughty. And I will see you next week.